Hello Pisces and welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading so please keep that in mind. And do check your other signs. This is a timeless reading so you can watch this whenever you are drawn to it and it's intended for about 30 days from whenever you start watching but you can always come back at another time as different message may resonate with you please take what resonates and leave what doesn't and check your other signs please do like share and subscribe i would greatly appreciate that and hit that notification bell so you always know when i have uploaded another video all my decks have already been uh, cleared and i have prayed and meditated on this reading for you Pisces. We are going to start with the Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck. Okay, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do we have first? Okay, we've got the Orca Whale Adventure. Awesome. I'm gonna set this right here and read more into these Spirit of the Animals Oracle cards later on in the reading. We've got the Heron, Patience water cards for you Pisces. Beautiful, very beautiful. Alrighty Pisces, here we go. There's that. Okay, and the tarot deck that I'm using today is the Gilded Tarot. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you Pisces for being here. Before I turn on the camera and I was shuffling the cards because I always pre-shuffle and then give them another little shuffle on camera just to connect with your energies. Anyway, before him, I was feeling very um, scattered energy and I had to keep stopping. So for some reason, I think, um, I don't know if it's Pisces in general currently, I don't know if it has to do with the planets, but maybe um, any of you are feeling kind of scattered energies right now. So I had to just take a couple deep breaths and ask spirit to center me and help me to focus and zone in on what Pisces needs to know right now. And I was guided to mention to you that I was picking up on some scattered energies and that's okay. It's okay, it happens to all of us. I think it happens to me on a daily basis. <laughs> oh my gosh, and see it's happening as I'm talking about it. So you know what? I'm gonna just call this a fumble and go back in to a little bit of grounding here. Pisces, <laughs> let's go. Okay, what do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? And let's also ask, how can Pisces contain their energies a little bit better? Now, these energies aren't necessarily a mess, Pisces. Some of you may be simply excited about a bunch of things at once, like happy things. Okay, cool, we've got the Ace of Swords. I do read upright. I read intuitively, so if um, typical reversal messages are meant to come through, they just come to me. So your current situation, we've got the Ace of Swords, which, which makes sense based on what I was just saying about scattered energies, and this is talking about centering your energies, centering your mental energies and gaining mental clarity. And that's what is needed here, and that's attainable for you. Okay, and the energies around there are there four of pentacles, which is the opposite of what I'm talking about. And that's kind of being a little bit overly grounded or not wanting to let go. So maybe for some of you, you're trying too hard to contain everything at once. Maybe some things are meant to be a little bit more free, or maybe there are some incomplete thoughts that you need to, um, pull together to get a bigger picture. Okay, and we've got the Page of Cups for your foundation. That's cool. I think maybe for some of you there's a new offer, a new offer of love or maybe some kind of gift being presented to you. Recent past energies that are benefiting you right now. Pisces, we've got the Three of Cups, which is exciting. Okay. And your mental energy, we've got the world, very exciting. I think many of you are embarking on some new changes or maybe have already begun to. And there are a lot of new things to experience and figure out what belongs where. Oh my gosh, the four of wands, this is exciting. 
happy family, happy news, happy connections, possibly marriage, or maybe some of you are going to a wedding, some kind of gathering. Okay, and for your outcome, we've got the death. Nobody be afraid of any of these cards. The death card is actually beautiful. It can be about transformation and renewal. Okay, and I put the outcome over here. I hope it's in the picture. Okay, and I draw two cards to justify. I've got a major arcana, justice. So what's meant to be, will be. Things are going to be balanced if they're not balancing out already. Pisces, and we've got the Eight of Swords, which is showing that anywhere you feel stuck is self-imposed, usually mentally. Okay, and taking a peek at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Four of Swords, more mental energy here, and this is indicating the need for rest, which is good. There's rest and healing meant for you. All right, let's go back here. Just got so excited about this reading, I started going into it. So we've got the Ace of Swords for Pisces. So there's mental clarity and clarity about, I think for many of you, there's a specific situation that has had you feeling a little bit scattered that you have been needing mental clarity on. And if some of you are not experiencing that clarity at this point, it's there for you. I think maybe doing some yoga or some meditating or just focused breathing will help you come to the answer that you are searching for. It's already there. It's already like right in your mind. And it might just take some calming to access it. So there's also a lot of excitement going on here. I think some of you are feeling like a, a child's a child's excitement when Christmas is coming or a birthday or a big event. And we've got the four of pentacles here. And what this is telling me right now is I think many of you are torn between wanting to be so, so grounded and contained and keeping things the way they are between that and grasping at all, at all of these new fun things that are coming your way nowadays, Pisces. Okay, and for your foundation, we've got the Page of Cups. Page of Cups. So there could be a new experience or a new relationship with someone coming into your life. Um, or this can represent you contemplating with your in your own energy your own water energy when it's flowing real nice and easy and that's what will tap you in to the clarity that you are seeking pisces i do think for some of you there's a love offer here too that you are currently aware of and maybe um it's very exciting for some of you and you need to contemplate or maybe there's more than one possibility um, for those of you who are married, I don't know why this just popped up because I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like tapped into this in this batch of readings yet. But I think for those of you who are married as a couple, you're going to be receiving some kind of good news. Wow, it's really crazy to me in a good way when messages pop out at me like that that I really wouldn't have expected. <laughs> and here we go. I mean, I already knew it was sitting there, but this confirms what I just said. Some kind of celebration, a celebration with others, people who you are close with, who are going to be so, so happy for you with whatever is going on. I think, you know, some of you are experiencing different things than others. Of course, not everybody is married or not everybody is starting a new relationship. But I think that, you know, those of you who aren't um, those of those things are experiencing some kind of new beginnings elsewhere, possibly in career, where there are others who have been really rooting for you for a long time, Pisces, and you have had some kind of huge breakthrough or are about to, and people are just like cheering you on because they love you so much. In your mental body, we've got the world. And many of you are already aware of the ending of a cycle and leveling up to a new beginning or new beginnings, something new and fresh. And that's, that's really exciting. And anything you may have experienced in the past, all the good will stay with you. And all of that was not so good is still valuable because it's part of what you have learned and how you've gained your wisdom to this point, Pisces. But you can shed the heavy parts of those things and allow that wisdom to be part of who you are now on your new journey and this new leveling up 
with these fresh new beginnings for you. And like I said, for some of you, I think the fresh new beginning could be a marriage or a new family member or even a new pet. There could be a new addition to your family in the form of a new pet Pisces. I think that is most definitely for some of you. And pets can bring us so much love and joy and love and joy to our family members. We give them love and nurturing and they give that back to us tenfold. They're just such beautiful creatures. So any of you who are thinking about adopting an animal, if you have the means and the ability and the love in your heart, then I think this is going to make you and your family or whoever, whoever is in your life very happy. And the death card is a major transformation and this really is coinciding with the world card. Okay, I think for some of you Pisces, there's a major, major transformation happening for you. And it's almost like you feel like a whole new person um, of course, that's not truly ever the case because we, we are who we are. We are the soul that we came to this earth as, but it's going to feel so good and relieving and victorious when you look back at all of you have accomplished to get to this point. And while you are in it, I don't think many of you realize how much you are achieving and you are either at the point now or reaching the point where you are seeing how much you have accomplished and you're feeling the freedom and the joy of all you have learned and can now put behind you that is so awesome pisces okay and the justice card and the eight of swords to clarify and validate the transformation card are showing i'm seeing the light pop out on both of these cards that there's balance and i see the sun at the justice card it's showing life and vitality there's new life and vitality coming into your life and if you're feeling disbelief pisces just know that a lot of that is self-imposed and you can take that blindfold off and the swords around you can be your strength not your fears okay pisces oh my gosh that's awesome and at the bottom of the deck just another quick peek here at the four of swords when you need to rest, when you feel scattered in your mental body, just rest. Have a cup of tea or something or whatever helps you to calm down and be okay with actually taking a nap. And keep in mind that healing can come in that way. Healing does come in and it wants to come in. So allow yourself to rest when you need to. Okay, Pisces, that is really awesome. I'm going to pick a couple cards from the Angel Wisdom Tarot deck here. What else does Pisces need to know? Pisces, Pisces, what else does Pisces need to know? All right. All right, Pisces, we've got the Six of Earth, which is the Six of Pentacles about giving and receiving and the need for balance in giving and receiving. And it says the good you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off a debt and sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. Very nice, Pisces. And be careful not to overgive. It's always lovely to give, but when that becomes taxing to us, then that means we're not giving enough to ourselves and we're being depleted or maybe we're giving in the wrong areas or to the wrong people who may not appreciate us. So use discernment in where you give and who you give to. And we've got the seven of air, which is the seven of swords in the traditional tarot. And this says, a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. Could be a material loss, but I'm not really picking up on that here. I'm seeing more of um, excessive mental energies making many of you feel scattered. Um, and it also says, make sure you are being honest with yourself or embarrassing secrets. <laughs> That's what it says on the card. So maybe some of you are afraid of um, something true and raw about yourself coming out. And that's okay because you just need to figure out who you can trust with your true self 
and who not to. And then that will bring you some freedom. Okay, and I'm showing you this with the Eight of Swords, which is showing you can unbind yourself from scattered mental energies. You don't need to run, you don't need to hide, you just need to decide where is appropriate to share your true self and not. And then you will feel more powerful within yourself and more joy in your life. It's all about balance. It's all about balance. Okay, whenever we're feeling drained, it's important to take a look at what we are doing and why we might be feeling drained. It's always good to give as long as you fill your own cup first, Pisces. We need all need to, need to be reminded of that, but I'm really picking up on that, having a lot to do with the scattered energy I was picking up on in the beginning. So Pisces needs to refill their own cup. Okay, so we've got the Oracle Whale, an adventure. Dare to do things differently. Sing your own wild song. Manifest your travel dreams. Attempt the great journey with confidence. Be loyal. Friends and family are your treasures. Be brave. You are more powerful than you know. Now I want to add here, Pisces, your friends and family could very well be your pets at home. And you need to make yourself your own best friend and your own family. Okay, Pisces. And we've got the Heron, which talks about patience. Create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently toward your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. Very beautiful, Pisces. I think that ties in well with the rest of the reading. Okay, and that might have to do with the scattered energies. Maybe a little bit of patience is needed and nobody likes to hear that. I think there are certain things that are tangible for you right now in the moment, Pisces. And you can separate them from the things that are gonna take a little bit of time. So you don't have to wait for everything. Embrace what can be fully embraced right now. Embrace what is tangible for you right now and know that those other things are coming and they may change a little bit. They may change and shift their form a little bit and come to you in a bit of a different way when it is time and divine timing. Okay, Pisces, I'm gonna draw a couple whoops, cards from the Secret Garden Tarot for advice. It's not tarot. <laughs> I guess they're or oracle cards. Secret Garden, enchanting messages from quiet spaces. That's what I'm picking from right now. Okay. What advice does Pisces need? We can't grow. All flowers must grow through dirt. So that's just a reminder, Pisces. It's not always going to be easy. And it's not always going to be pretty. And some of those things that are coming your way might not look too pretty right now. They might not be fully formed, but they're going to be beautiful when it's time for you to attain them. We've got wildflower. Live an uncontrolled life, free to grow anywhere and bound by nothing. That's beautiful Pisces and so Pisces to me. Very nice. Thank you Pisces for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please leave a comment below how this resonates and please hit the notification bell so you always know when I've uploaded a new video. Thank you for being here. Blessings to you and I will be back again soon. Take care Pisces.